in my hands i got a massive package from anthony and he sent me an email saying hey i got some stuff i want to send you some cards for my child my collection you want it i said sure it could be a fun little video send it over so i gave my peel box i didn't expect there to be this much stuff like this there's so much and when i say it's a lot i meant it's it's literally a lot we also have a note i'll show you the top half because the bottom half says read this off camera here's the on camera you can just pause and read for yourself what i love about this is i was going to you know speed myself up reading this note what i love is is anthony went to locals with a blue eyes deck and i see he got wiped out by tri brigade and the reason why that's funny to me is because when i came back to Yu-Gi-Oh with master duel a year ago now the very first deck that i experienced that was like such a pain for me was tri brigade and i remember at the time i pretty much only play blue eyes as well so i understand this pain so much also if you're on tiktok make sure you go anthony some love that's his tiktok ad account all right let's go ahead and hop into this so everything is, is numbered which i assume is the order that he wants me to open in okay i think i got it pretty much the so first one is zero let's just hop into it and see what we got i see a uh a vile plume what is this from oh this is uh yeah which said was from i remember this this art this card is dope now he did say giveaway so if somebody wants this vile plume uh i guess just comment on this video i don't know your favorite favorite tcg memory how about that one it could be anything and I'll pick someone out and I can mail this out to you at some point in the next like, couple days. Hopefully I don't forget because I tend to upload to this channel and then just walk away and then forget that I did it. So uh, give me a couple days and then I'll pick someone out and you can have this vile bloom. All right, number one, not Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon. What could that be? Does anyone here have stuff that they're into that's not Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh? You guys already know from me, it's Y Schwartz. I've been super into this lately. I love the TCG. I mean, it's basically just anime TCG that has a bunch of different IPs. I feel like I talk about it a lot. But if, if there's something for you that's not Pokemon or Yuga you, that you're into, let me know down below. And we got... Uh, oh, this is Dragon Ball Super. The Dragon Ball Super TCG is actually very, very dope. And we got it's an SR of Goku, Pan, and uh, Trunks. And then we got... Yo, this is dope. I never pulled this one. SPR Frieza? I forgot which set this is from. But I remember I definitely wanted this one. So that's kind of cool. Thank you. This is this is dope. I'm keeping this one. <laughs> People are like, what else are you giving away? I I'm keeping that one. All right, number two, we have arch archetypes, archetypes, archetype specific metas. All right, so let's just kind of hop into it. I, I actually use some of these. So we have Albion, the Brain of the Dragon. This is actually in my deck right now. I put that in like both my Blue Eyes and my Dark Magician deck because this is easy to bring out uh, any fusion for the Blue Eyes deck. And for Dark Magician specifically, it brings out Dragoon and Dragon Knight. Small World is actually fantastic. It's a good card, very good card. And we got Shooting Star Dragon in uh, Ultra Rare from uh, Brothers of Legend. We have uh, Libromancers, which I don't really know much about. We got Geek Boy. And we got Doom Broker. A couple more. I saw Sword Soul in the front. Sword Soul is, a, is another deck that I dealt with a lot in Master Duel. We got Necro World, Necro World Banshee. We got uh, Sinister Star Wars. This card is good. I feel like this card is underrated. I, I say it as if it's not, like one of the best cards in the game. And then we got Flu, the map. Uh, actually, it's not the map. It's Adventure, Advent of Adventure. I hate Flu and everything about it. Just, ooh, I, I see Flu, I get angry. But uh, yeah, the, I gotta say this is underrated as if it's not like one of the best cards in the game. This card is great. I feel like people should be summoning that a lot more. Turn one rather than but on the floor. Right, meta staples. Let's see what we got over here. What meta staple? What's considered a meta staple? Uh, I see Black Lost of Soldier. That, that was a, a staple for a while. Still is very good, I would say. Uh, not that one. Chaos Soldier is good, obviously, because Chaos Soldier is a link card, and it's a really, really good one as well. But yeah, actually, just fix this. Oh, I got, uh, can I get out of here? There we go. We got Dark Lord No More in the front. BLS, this is from, from Mama, actually, from uh, Magnificent, Ma Magnificent Mavens, which we've seen a lot. Speaking of which, there he is. Uh, Soldier of Chaos, fantastic card. Also, we got Appaloosa twice. Appaloosa is amazing. Love her design as well and her abilities. Crossout Designator, I feel like it's an important card nowadays. It's funny because I I have in my deck two crossouts, I want to say. One is Ultra Rare. One is uh, the Prismatic one. I like having the Prismatic one, so I want to replace it with this one. So that's kind of cool that I just got that. DPE, underrated card. I feel like if it wasn't for having to put uh, both uh, Dasher and Celestial in your deck, you'll probably use that way more. I... I I can't do it anymore. I, I always end up drawing Dasher or Celestial on my first turn. I get angry. Ghost Bell. Underrated. 
I keep saying underrated as if they're not some of the best cards in the game. Ghost, I feel like Ghost Spell is just as important as Ash Blossom, which might be kind of controversial. Ghost Ogre, Snow Rabbit, also, also a fantastic card. One thing I don't like about that is it just pops. It doesn't actually negate. You have Skill Drain, which is everyone's favorite uh, Floodgate. There's another Appaloosa. And uh, those are the, the meta staples. Skill Drain is a painful card to deal with. Let's be real. No one, no one likes dealing with it. You always, oh, there's more. You always got to have some kind of uh, response ready for it, whether it be Twin Twisters or, or Harpy's Feather Dust, stuff like that. Imperm. Only thing I hate about Skill Drain is you can't play Imperm. For example, if my opponent has Skill Drain flipped, and I put Imperm in the same column as Skill Drain for my next turn, I can't flip Skill Drain and target an effect monster on opponent's field because it's already negated. That's kind of stupid. That's a dumb rule. Speaking of Imperms, there's a bunch here. Evenly matched, very, very toxic card. Evenly matched wins games. We got Nibiru. And then finally, we got Forbidden Droplet, which uh, is a fantastic card as well, which I should be using, but I don't use it much. I think I... I don't think I've ever, now I think about it, ever put Forbidden Droplet in my deck. And I should, because it's very good. All right, let's see what we got over here. I'm gonna slide us out. It's like Christmas right now. Ooh, Dragon Knight, there it is. One of my favorite cards. This is my staple in my Dark Magician de deck. We got Quintet Magician as well. Is that Qu Quintet Magician? Ooh, and Relinquished Anima. Quintet Magician, I feel like it's good, but it's too hard to summon. Uh, having to banish five different spellcasts with different names is just annoying. Just for it to get negated. Now, if you have Magical Meltdown in the field, Quintet wins games. <laughs> you wipe the whole board. Dark Burning Magic, super fun card. Actually, no, I'm thinking of uh, Dark Burning Magic, right? Is this the one? No, this, is the, this is the Dark Magician Girl one. I'm thinking uh, Dark Burning... Uh, dark. No, Dark Burning Magic is the one that destroys everything if you have Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl in the field. This is the one that just pops all face up monsters. It's got Dark Magician Girl in the front, though, so of course it's a win. Then we got Dark Twin Burst. We got Magic Karibo. And Majesty with the Eyes of Blue, followed by Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. Again, Anthony, I want to say thank you for these because this is, I'm going to probably use a lot of these. All right, next one is slide right in. Ooh, Magician's Valkyria. That's a, that's an interesting card. That's an interesting card because it keeps coming back into my life. I remember when I was in Japan back in December, I kept seeing this every single time. And then during Ruxin's uh, price video, this was tossed in and I was like, I just saw this card. And it's funny because I did kind of want it after, you know, talking to Ruxton. And here we are now, not even a month later, did that video. Um, now I have it. It's interesting because this card was a limited edition for no reason. It's kind of confusing why it is. Pretty fire card. It's, it's just Dark Magician Girl, you know, um, her next stage of becoming the, the wizard that she is. Ooh, we got Curse of Dragon. We got Mystical Elf. We got the Forbidden One. Stardust Dragon. Ooh, this Wing Dragon of Raw. This Slifer card is dope. This Wing Dragon of Raw design is fire as well. And this is uh, des uh, designed and drawn by the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh. Fun fact. Did you guys know uh, any card that's, that's made by the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't have... See how it has like a little border over here on the Slifer? This doesn't. Every single card that's drawn by him doesn't have that. Um, and I think that's because it won't be more closer to how OCG cards are. I might be wrong on that. But that's kind of a cool little fun fact in case you didn't know. Ooh, look at that. We got the blue eyes, the blue eyes section of the video. Love that everything is, oh look, we also got Dark Magician one. I like that everything is kind of like labeled. So it's like, you know what to prepare for when you're opening into this. But this is, this is my territory right here. We got blue eyes and Dark Magician stuff. I'm with it. Run slide us out. We got blue eyes jet, a staple. Absolute, actually, hold on. We got blue eyes jet. We got the, uh, the legendary cabin collection blue eyes. We got uh, the uh, the Dark Side Dimensions original because remember they, re they originally released them as gold cards and then they released them like, as, uh, as regular cards afterwards. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon and then Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, which actually fun fact I never actually played either one of these. And it is Blue Eyes Jet literally will win you duels, unless of course it gets sent away, in which case then you just kind of you know, don't do anything. Dark Magician. We got Tamias, the United Dragon. This is an easy way to bring out Dragon Knight. I've actually never really used this because I stick to using Branded. Uh, I might mess around with this when it comes out to uh, Master Duel in a couple days and see how it actually works with a Branded deck as well, along with Dark Magician. But this card is a fantastic way to bring out uh, Dragon Knight. Then we got Dark Paladin. Ooh, look at that art. That is fire. We got Dark Magician. And then, oh, we got a Ghost Rare? Red Eyes, Dragon, Archfiend? Red Eyes, wow. Red Dragon, Archfiend, sorry. That's uh, pretty fire, too. 
think that was the first ghost rare I pulled, I want to say. All right. Now we got number eight, Pokemon. So we're getting a both a Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh opening in this video, which I'm totally here for, actually. Literally, I'm, I'm like, I'm standing right here right in front of me. Again, Anthony, much love. Don't worry, I'll take care of all your cards. You send them to the right place. So do this and that. All right, let's see what we got. Pokemon wise, we got, ooh, a Radiant Venusaur. We got Leafeon, Leafeon V, Glaceon. Ah, <laughs> there's my boy dapping me up. What up, Lugia? We got Marnie. There's a bunch here, actually, I think. Or is it a, uh... hold on, it's Articuno, Lucario, and Espeon, Shinies. We got the next section of Pokemon. Oh, we got the Radiant Charizard that I literally was not able to pull. It's funny, because I pulled him again, maybe like three days after my initial video. Which, like, of course I did. Like, it took me so long. And then we got the whole, oh, we got the trio? I never pulled a Suicune, but I did, I did get Entei and uh, Raikou in, in the English Crown Zenith set. I never pulled Suicune, so this is fire too. Now we get, get a complete set for that as well. All right, part 10, not, Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery packs. M mystery box style. Packages are number 1 through 10. Okay. Not Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay, so it, it, it is Pokemon. Ooh. <laughs> That's kind of sick. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is dope. We got a Fossil Dragonite? The nostalgia just super kicked in. Look at that. Man, that gave me uh, that gave me some like crazy nostalgic vibes there for a second. That's dope. Let's go ahead and cut into this. Seems like, be a, seems like a box. This is uh, also not Pokemon, so I assume this is Yu-Gi-Oh? It's a deck. It's a deck box. The starter deck Kaiba Reloaded? That's kind of sick. So this is the one that comes with the ultimate blue eyes, right? Yeah, ultimate. It comes with ultimate blue eyes. This is dope, actually. This is from 2000 what? 13. Look, look, check this out. Check this out. This is actually on top of my desk. It's on top of my webcam, actually. Uh, this is basically guarding my camera. So yeah, 2013. That, this is what's inside this. That's sick. I love the shine. Like, I know a lot of people don't like this Blue Eyes design. I love it. And this Ultimate Rare, since we never got an English release for an Ultimate Rare Blue Eyes, you know, one that came out in 2001 in Japan, we never got that. This is uh, the next best thing. And the, the pattern on Hollow, the Hollow pattern on Ultimate Rare cards is just so good. So good. This is dope. Thank you. And finally, we got this envelope. I'm gonna go ahead and slide into right now. Let's see what we got over here. A greater Pokemon card. All right, what we got? Oh, we got an Espeon from Hidden Fates. That's so dope. Anthony, I would say you shouldn't have. You never have to. But I, I super appreciate this package. This is so cool to me. Much love, much love, much love. And on top of that, we get to upload a video on the channel, which has been a while as well. But yeah, this has been a surprise. I love everything. Um, again, just comment your favorite uh, TCG memory from any trading card you grew up with, and I'll pick out somebody to get that uh, Vile Plume to hopefully soon and not forget about it. <laughs> if I forget about it, tweet me like, Rhyme, did you choose a winner? And I'll probably just pin the winner and all that stuff. By the way, I always got to point out if there is any giveaway mentioned in videos, do not pay attention to any bots. You'll know it's me in the comments because I'll reply to you. You'll see like the. Actually, I don't know if this Twitter, if this YouTube account is verified or not, but you'll know it's me. Like you can always click on the account and it'll show you the actual account. If, it, if you click on, on a rhyme style and you have like seven followers or whatever, that's not, it's a bot. <laughs> You'll know it's me. I'll reach out to you and I'll get you that bio plume, all that good stuff. But Anthony, much love. Thank you for the package and hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next opening. Peace.